All systems are a go. Hello, this is Madreus, and welcome back to another episode of Uphill Climb Challenge. Today, we'll be taking the 2013 Dodge Dart GT up the mountain to see how it handles against the competition. Now, we did take the uh, Dodge Dart Super Sport, the uh, classic muscle car up the mountain here, an episode ago. Uh, now, it's time to take its uh, younger sibling and see how it does in comparison. Now it's very much a different kind of car. This vehicle is front wheel drive and it has a considerably smaller engine. For comp it's a 2.3 liter and I believe it's an inline four, I believe. It's not a very big engine at all. It can be swapped out for an i4 turbo rally or a 3.2 liter inline six. But uh, we'll be sticking with the basic engine, and we won't be putting a turbo or anything on it because it really doesn't need it. But we will start by putting on some rally compound. Maybe even put on a different set of rims, something a little, something a little more sporty looking, with more spokes. Just because I'm fickle that way, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Uh, gold doesn't really work. I did have one on here before that looked pretty nice, but... I think it was Momo. Simply I'm going off the... Uh, the brand labeling on the vehicle itself. So let's go with Momo. Alright. Oh, we definitely do want to put it on some wider tires. 255s in the front. 255s in the rear. Now, since it is such a mo it is a modern car... The, uh, if we don't change the gearing, it actually gets a better launch. So we will just let that sit, although we will put in a racing clutch. And we'll reduce as much weight as we can and put in a race differential. We will want to put it on Rally Springs, give us some more clearance. Maybe put a better set of brakes on. Although it does stop pretty well by itself. Fascinatingly enough, the rear brakes shrink when you put the better brakes on, so... I'm not too sure what that's all about. Put better sway bars on. Put a roll cage in. Hopefully we won't, we won't need it. And strip as much weight out of the vehicle as we can, because it's uh, pretty heavy for all the bigger it is. And now for the fun stuff is to pack on the power. All right. Try to shear off as much weight as we can. Okay. Uh, ignition, put better spark plugs. That jumps us right up to the top there, although I do want to see if I could s save ourselves some weight. Too much. There we go. And here we are with our Dodge Dart GT. Ready to go to t tackle the uphill climb challenge. And I'll see you over there in just a moment. And here we are at the bottom of the mountain ready to start the challenge. A beautiful day to start, uh, start a race here I see. 
This thing's definitely roaring, raring to go, that's for sure. Not quite as beastly of a sounding engine, of course, as compared to the, uh, the classic dart, but... Should prove to be interesting. I never drove a front-wheel drive vehicle in th actually much in this game at all, so... Kind of interested to see how it handles. I've driven front-wheel drive cars in other games, like Gran Turismo, but... That's been a while, so... Kind of interested to see how this handles. So here we are, ready to roll. See, at least it purrs pretty nicely. And here we are on the pavement. It's uh, going along decently enough. Red line's about 8K. It's definitely pretty darn grippy. Yeah, a little bit of a uh, on power oversteer there, but not bad. It's really isn't going too bad here. Should def Oh, definitely out of the power band there. Going along here pretty well. It's not, uh. I was worried that if it, one characteristic that front wheel drive vehicles usually have is lots of understeer, like right here. I thought they'd be feeling a lot more of it before then, but it's really the first spot that I felt so far that uh, having to do with the understeer. Go. Yes. I mean, it's definitely not driving flashily up the hill, but it's, it's uh, cruising along smoothly. I mean, this wouldn't be a bad drive just in general. Right, go around the corner here. This is driving fairly nicely. It's a bit of a comfortable drive. I don't know if it's going to be fast, but it's comfortable. Okay. Here we are on the final stretch. We'll see if that rally suspension will do its job here. Here we go. Got to take it on. You have to aim to the right side of that hill there, so you don't uh, nose dive right into the little little bit of mound behind it. There we are. Okay. Quite the respectable time we just set for two minutes thirty seconds, and I feel like there's definitely room for improvement. So let's give it another go. So here we are, once again. You have to see... I was seeing some videos on YouTube with people giving a little bit of flack, but... really isn't that bad. I mean, I think they should have given it a different name. Because this isn't a dart. At least, uh... in its uh, classic sense, anyway. This is definitely more reminiscent of a Dodge Neon, being honest with you. It's more to do with a Dodge Neon than a Dodge Dart, I have to say that much. Not, not, not to be taken as an insult or anything, but... Just uh, out of aesthetics and that sort of thing. I mean, the Dutch Neons were fine cars. They had one when they were new. They stopped 
making them probably what uh, probably into the late 2000s probably right I'm not too sure here we go down shift a little bit of uh, understeer there but again not bad There we go. Just can't have the throttle down the whole time. You back it off a little bit, the car will be more than happy to do what you want it to do. Now, I might have mentioned this before in a different video, but I can't, much, but I can't remember if I did or not. Is that I wish there was a controller out there that had a longer trigger pull uh, with a stiffer spring to mimic what it feels like to press the pedal on a car or a gas pedal in that because the pull on the uh, Xbox controller is pretty short well all controllers are pretty short not just the Xbox but it should have a little bit of a longer pull and it's a stiffer pull I mean, it wouldn't be very good for shooters but for control uh, concise control of how much throttle you want That'd be something more along than what I'd be looking for. And here we go. I have no idea what time I'm going at here. I haven't been keeping my eye on the time. And that's why you don't keep your eye on the timer. <laughs> what in the world is going on? Wow. Okay, and that's my friends is why you don't bother looking at the clock because if you can just keep your eyes on the road you can perform lots better 226 holy smokes. I was not expecting this at all. This is exciting Or uh, I don't know if I'm gonna beat that But we're definitely going to give it another go here because we have one more try <laughs> Oh wow Apparently front wheel drive is something I can definitely handle. Alright, let's get this Get the show on the road. But I was I was saying I kinda wish that uh, that there were controllers out there that would have a longer pull. I'm sure there are they are out there, I just don't know where to look. Bricks. Well, I think this tries out the window. Down shift, there we go. We'll try our best here to make up make up time, at least get it down to 230 once again now, at least prove that the car is just consistent. One thing with this car is that it's you gotta treat it right. You can't be rough with it or it will punish you. That's definitely one thing I'm definitely learning while driving this car is that you gotta be nice to it. You can't be rough with it or it will punish you. Go. Yeah, going pretty smoothly here. Up and over. Yeah, gotta be nice to it. Okay, here, one last uh, hairpin turn here. Yeah. I mean, I'm not too sure if I would go out and buy one of these, but 
if there was one for a good deal used, I would consider it. So because front wheel drive is a lot better in the snow than rear wheel drive cars anyway. Have to look at the more practical side of things. Here we are. A bit of a smooth transition there. A little bit slower that time, but I believe we just set ourselves a new leader. I'll be back with you here in just a second after I analyze the times and uh, figuring out our new leaderboard. So I'll be back with you here in just a second. And here we are at the leaderboards, the Dodge Dart GT coming in first place at 2 minutes 26 seconds, 0.716. The Super Legacy RS getting beat out by nearly a second at 2 minutes 27 seconds, 0.536. Now, it even beat the Dodge Dart SS, uh, which came in at 2 minutes 28 seconds, 0.813. And it's redo, the redux that we did here about an episode ago. Now, I was not expecting the Dodge Dart GT to be quite this good. I mean, after hearing some of the uh, incredulousness online, the in not being too sure about why it's here in the game, well, I think I found where it's good. It's good climbing up hills, apparently, in tight, twisty turns. Uh, even for front-wheel drive, it doesn't suffer too bad from the understeer. I mean... Yeah, if you don't treat it right, it will plow. But if you are good at controlling the throttle, it'll do what you ask it. And uh, as you can definitely see here, if you if you treat it nice, it will uh, pay you off in great dividends by beating uh, <laughs> the leader by a whole second, which is quite impressive. Now, uh, so I probably might be using this vehicle online. Uh, not too sure where, as a lot of people online just love the straight line speed and everything like that. But if I ever get a chance to use this vehicle online, I'll definitely use it. And <laughs> heck, might even show some people off and through the corners. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I will see you next time in an episode of Uphill Climb Challenge.